Welcome to the third installment of the Dogs Core 4 Plus 14 interview series. I'm your host, Joe McFarland. We've been highlighting the newest addition to Siemens Stadium in Oak Tokes, that of course being the Core 4 Plus 14 corner. It offers a brand new vantage point for Dogs fans to take in a game during the summer, and it'll also be home to the Visitors Clubhouse. We've been having conversations with some of the original members of the Dogs Youth Program, talking about their baseball memories, and also about what life has been like since they hung up their cleats that's not necessarily the case for everyone. Case in point, Jim Henderson. He's had an amazing baseball career, starting with that dog's team before he headed off to Midland College and then Tennessee Wesleyan College, both on scholarships. He returned to Alberta to play with the dog's summer college team, and then he was drafted in the 26th round of the 2003 MLB draft by the Montreal Expos. In 2012, Henderson made his big league debut with the Milwaukee Brewers. Over four seasons, he pitched in 155 games with the Brew Crew and the New York Mets. He also represented Canada at a variety of events. Over the last couple of years, Henderson has turned his attention to coaching and is now a pitching coach with the Brewers organization, working right now with their off-site players in Wisconsin. Joining us now from his hotel room is Jim Henderson. Jim, thanks so much for taking some time for us. Yeah, thanks for having me. When you look back at that first dog's youth team, what comes to mind for you? Um, we were young, inexperienced, and, uh, but we were very talented. <laughs> and uh, and uh, it just took uh, a group of men and, and coaches and dads to kind of get the best out of us and, and kind of take charge and, and wrangle us all in and, and, uh, and really make something of it. So um, thanks, all thanks to really those guys for putting it together. Any favorite memories or stories you'd like to share from those days? Oh man, PG <laughs> thirteen, of course. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, early on, early on, it was really evident we had a good team. Like we would, we would uh, go and play older teams over in British Columbia and, and win most tournaments. Um, and it was like that was like that was like super exciting just to see. Like, I don't think we knew how good we would be, and you know, coming from Calgary and, and the group we had, so. To go over there and start winning right away against some older guys was like just like an eye opener for everybody, I think. And like, wow, we got something special here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, well, just initially, that's it. <laughs> yeah. And, and I mean, that's one of the things, too, when you look back on those days, is Alberta's not necessarily known as being this hotbed of baseball talent. And yet, here's this team that's really setting the Canadian space on fire and, and even down in the States as well. Yeah, yeah, and then that was that was. I mean, those were the really the big tests when we went down to Florida, Las Vegas, kind of like getting out of our comfort zone, and going down to the states, and and uh, kind of our eyes were open there by seeing um, kind of the amount of talent that the that the states could offer, and those guys, those those kids who play year round, and kind of how polished they were compared to how raw we were. Yeah. What's it like looking back on those days and on that team, realizing that it really was the beginning of this program that it is today? Yeah, uh, looking back, it's it's uh, you know to, to, I think I think when we started getting to like the high school level and we started seeing guys play national on the national teams, and then we saw our, our first kid get drafted. We were like, okay, this this program is actually producing players. It's developing players. We all got scholarships to college, like that. Everybody in that entire lineup got scholarships to colleges, and so like obviously looking back, you go, they did it right. We you know we did things right playing playing like higher competition traveling all across the the country and the world basically was was well worth it and and kind of shows what you can you know if you kind of apply that to this group that you have now with how it's evolved that the same thing can happen to those kids and and then obviously when you get you go a step further than that not just the college scholarships but then you get drafted by the expos as well what was that like given that again you're from southern alberta not necessarily known for that kind of talent getting the chance to turn pro yeah really exciting um you don't really think about it like my goal after playing with the dogs was to just kind of outplay um all the all the guys i graduated with uh vince vince Candia and emerson and those guys i just wanted to play longer and i was actually like upset that they got red some of them got red shirted their first years in college because i was like oh they're going to get another year of playing just to, just to play baseball um so to get drafted and to continue on playing i was like well that was like more than i ever expected so i mean really pumped at that point and then you end up getting to the show with milwaukee and the mets you represented canada as well a few times you really accomplished a lot on the field what did it mean to you to do that with the roots you have with the dogs yeah it was exciting and i mean 
um, with the roots of the dogs and 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 uh, and being able to play with a couple other guys like Emerson, those national teams was, was really special. Uh, you know, it really shows how far we, we came together. Um, and then to play on the, on the national team, like the dogs was such a, you know, close fan, close knit family. Um, and then, you know, just the amount of baseball players in Canada, there's not that many. And then we get to play together in ten, with the team Canada's and we're a big family as well there. And we're still in touch with all those guys. So uh, it is really just one big community with Canadian baseball. Mm-hmm. And you've been able to bring a lot of that knowledge back to some of the players in that small community here in Canada as well, whether it's coaching with Oak Tokes or coaching uh, elsewhere, or coaching today for that matter. What kinds of lessons do you take from your playing days and insert them into what you teach with the current crop of tomorrow's superstars? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really about like doing everything as game speed as you can. Like that's how we got better as youth players. Like, like I said, we went and played – better competition we play like 100 game schedules as as 15 16 year olds and and i really think that's you know trying to elevate your game against higher competition playing as many games as possible like practice you can only do so much but you really learn a lot in games and i think that's what kind of i took from all that experience i had with the, the youth team what do you think when you actually head back to Oak Tokes, you see the stadium the way it is you see that entire complex the way it is and it's such a, a far reaching um situation compared to what you were playing with yeah it's these kids are lucky i mean they have a (laughs) they have the facilities like like none other uh across canada um and and it's really i mean it's really good though i mean it's you know like i said just by just by playing games we we realized how special we were as kids but now these guys have the opportunity to like stay at the art facilities uh they have the technology they have the facilities they have the coaching i mean everything at their disposal to really you know kind of mold them into what they what they need to be and I, I keep on seeing kids getting drafted keep on seeing kids getting scholarships and it proves that uh, you know it's all worth it putting it all together we've been talking a lot about this new core four plus 14 corner at Siemens stadium the new one that's going to be opening up to the crowd soon enough and as one of those core players what does it mean to you to be honored in this way along with your teammates from yesteryear from that squad yeah they can stop honoring me <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> past it, but, but no it is it is quite an honor um I've said it before and I'll say it many times. I've owed a lot to the dogs, um, you know, without them, it just, it just wouldn't have been possible. I didn't even know it was possible to play at the levels I did and, and it was because of them. So um, to be honored by them, it, it's great. I, I owe a lot to them though as well. So it, it's, it's a little give and take there. How proud are you of what you've been able to accomplish over the years? Yeah. For, I mean, um, it took a lot of, it took a lot of work. There's a lot of adversity throughout the, throughout the course of my career through, um, just being like, just already being like a late draft pick. Like, like I'm not, was never really a prospect to facing injuries, to repeating levels and getting released and shuffled around. And you just kind of have to find your way. And, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm proud of myself for sticking with it. There was times where you probably want to hang them up and, and be done with it. But um, once I kind of got through, I'd say my first shoulder surgery and I put on all the work, I kind of owed it myself to kind of see it through. So i um, happy I did. <laughs> yeah. And how cool is it to be honored with the teammates as well? I mean, that's a, a big part of this and, and talking to John and others is, is that it was such a, a team atmosphere right from the get-go. Yeah, I mean, those guys are great. We, I mean, those are memories that last forever. Um, we, you know, not only did we face better competition, we also pushed each other. Um, like I say, like, I want to play those guys. They probably want to play me. And, and, like, and uh, you know, we just continued – working hard together, playing hard together, and, and just trying to compete as a team. And it's just a real honor to be, you know, with, associated with those guys. Jim, we really appreciate your time for this. Thanks so much for joining us. And we hope to see you around Siemens Stadium in the new Core 4 Plus 14 uh, corner soon enough. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Thank you, John. And that'll do it for this edition of the Dogs Core 4 Plus 14 interview series. We'll be back next week with another conversation. So keep it locked on all of the Dogs' social media platforms for all the latest, plus updates, of course, on the corner. Until then, thanks so much for tuning in to Dogs TV.